chest breathing is actually no, not a good breathing for us, which does not activate our lungs properly. Our alveoli sac, which are seven crores, which as a result does not help us. So there are three types of breathing. The first breathing is known as chest breathing, also known as thoracic breathing. The breathing which we do from the chest and this is shallow breathing. Second type of breathing is called belly breathing or child breathing. When your tummy comes out, only the tummy comes out. And third type of breathing is known as yogic breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, friendly breathing or deep breathing. So these are the three types of breathing. So chest breathing. That means breathing from the chest. Now, when we came on this earth as a child, we only did the belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing, but over the period of time, we really forgotten how to breathe. Chest breathing is when only your chest expanding. So you're inhaling, only your chest is coming out. This only activate chest area. So it's thoracic zone, also known as intercostal muscles. Intercostal muscles are the muscles which are between the rib cage. So we have thoracic rib cage and there are muscles between the ribs known as intercostal muscles. In chest breathing, only these mechanical aspects of those rib cage are expanded and contracted. What happens whenever we have a diaphragm here and when we inhale, our diaphragm puts negative pressure on our chest. So it, it goes like this, it pushes everything down. The chest is expanding, so it puts negative pressure on our chest area. So we have more of the expansion here. And uh, this is the only muscles which are expanded are the 360 degree chest area. Our intercostal muscles which are between our rib cage are activated or they're expanded and contracted. Secondly, our accessory muscles which are on our neck, say neck lodomastoid, calin or upper trapezius. These are the muscles which are activated when we do chest breathing. Now, chest breathing, it leads to us by activating the sympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system means whenever we are in any stressful situation, in tension, in anxiety, that's when we activate sympathetic nervous system, which generally happens in a fight and flight response. If there's a snake in front of me, what I'm going to do, I will try to either fight, beat it, or I'll try to fly it, run away. In both the situation, I need more oxygen and it's not there. So I just have to, I do hopping and popping or even if a dog is behind me. So these are the things which happens called sympathetic nervous system. When uh, your mind is in a stressful situation, a lot of pressure, a lot of stress here. Another thing, what it does that we have the lungs and it does, it only activate the upper lobe of the lungs. So we have different lobes of the lungs, only upper lobes of the lungs are activated. So not fully, lungs being activated next thing it does it only moves diaphragm little bit but not too much wherein diaphragm can be moved too much but it only affects little bit of the diaphragm which is the longest muscles here between your chest and tummy that it creates a problem in the body because with the chest breathing our ph level of the body we should be seven and a half or above to maintain a proper health in the body to maintain their alkalinity in the body but in this case, this goes down and it creates the acidic environment in the body, which as a result creates so many blockages in the body, heart problems and so many other. So overall, you can say this breathing is not good. In this, a tummy does not move, only chest moves. Tummy does not move. It may go a little bit in, but it doesn't come out. And the pressure is only here. Now, when we do this, this kind of breathing, we do it when we are in very stressful situation, fear, anxiety or tension, or we are angry in all this situation generally these muscles are activated secondly when we need a high high metabolic demand if you're doing any hard exercise we are doing some hit uh, high intensity interval training in these cases you require these muscles get expanded because you require a lot of oxygen and the lot of oxygen is not in your body because your lungs are not attuned to this so you do hopping and popping all kind of anaerobic exercises Secondly, people who do the chest breathing, general, the, if you have a pot belly, beer belly, you will do uh, chest breathing. Pregnant women will do the chest breathing. When women wearing corset, they do the chest breathing. In addition to that, if you have taken heavy meal, you will do the chest breathing. Secondly, the people, a lot of problem related to the respiratory trouble like asthma, 
emphysema, bronchitis, COPD, all kind of lung related use with chest breathing. The chest breathing is actually no, not a good breathing for us, which does not activate our lungs properly. Our alveoli sac, which has seven crores, which as a result does not help us. So that is the chest breathing. So let's look at the demonstration.